Hey there, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to animate a walk cycle of a dog in front view. So, let's start. Before jumping on to After Effects, let's check out how to separate the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. So this is the illustration we are going to use in today's lesson and this is how I have separated the layers. So I have separated each of the facial elements in a separate layer such as eyes are in a separate layer. Each of the facial elements such as the upper face and the lower face are in a separate layer. The tongue is in a separate layer. The ear is also in two separate layers for each of the ears and even the body the shoulder portion is also in a separate layer and this is the back portion of the body and the whole leg is in a separate layer and the foot is in a separate layer for each of these legs and foot and the tail is in a separate layer and here is the shadow in another separate layer okay so that is how i have separated the layers in adobe illustrator to prepare the file for animation by the way if you want to learn how to design in flat style in adobe illustrator do check out my other tutorials on adobe illustrator i have numerous tutorials that will teach you how to design characters in flat style design in adobe illustrator so go check them out you will be able to get the link in the description or you will be able to get them in the i button on the top right corner as well so go check them out and let's proceed with this lesson okay so right now we are inside of after effects and here our first job is to select all the elements of the head and pre comp it okay so right now here we are going to use rubber hose to plug in to animate our walk cycle in this particular lesson so for that let's bring out the rubber hose to plug in and here I'm going to click on start and end and click on new rubber hose. Okay, so I'm going to select this, place it over here and place it over foot one. Select the foot one and leg one and slow it for a moment. And I'm going to replace these hose ends. Let's change this to minus 100 and let's decrease its length. Perfect. To increase the stroke of this particular shape, we can do it from here. Okay, so right now we are going to start our animation of the uh, of the leg. So I'm going to select this foot. First of all, let's change this to a shape vector layer. Now let's delete the, delete the Illustrator file. Okay, I'm going to parent this with this hose end. Perfect. Now, let's turn on this tile action shift. Here is a guide that has been turned on. Okay, now we can properly keep in track of where the exact center of this composition is. And let's move the whole thing and put it exactly at the center. Perfect. Now, we are going to start our animation. So, for that, let's select the end so i'm going to pull it over here somewhere around here and open the position property and put a keyframe and a typical walk cycle animation takes around a second but for this one i'm going to exceed it and give it a slight slower walk cycle so for that i'm going to jump on to next 20 frames first so the whole walk cycle will be around 40 frames and I am in 30 frames per second so around giving 10 frames extra for the walk cycle. So I am going to move it back somewhere around here. And also I am going to decrease its length put a keyframe on length and here as well and I am going to decrease its length to yeah it's looking pretty nice. So here after next 20 frames we are going to again copy this frame and paste it over here and after that on next 10 frames i'm going to put it above pull it above okay now let's easy is it and let's check our animation okay let's change this to roving keyframe Yep, it's looking pretty nice. So, right now. Yep, 
it's looking pretty nice so we are going to go with this one and right now we are going to also add some animation to this foot as well so open the path property of this foot and again put a keyframe on the foot over here as well around here as well so at this particular position i'm going to pull this bezier handles and just distort the shape a bit around uh, some, something like this okay and here it will just come back to its normal pose perfect now let's check yep it's looking pretty nice okay now we are going to copy this hose and repeat the process for the you know, for the other legs as well so let's do that so before proceeding with the animation of the other legs let's select the start and parrot it with shoulder and let's pre comb the foot and also i'm going to put a loop expression to all these uh, properties with keyframes and also i'm going to enable the time remapping and put a keyframe over here and also delete the keyframe at the end of this timeline and let's add the loop expression over here as well perfect now we are going to duplicate these hoses so for that select the hoses and come over here in manage tab in rubber hose and click on duplicate selected hose so i'm going to put it above foot two and also i'm going to duplicate foot as well and put it over here and let's name it foot two perfect let's parent it with the end okay now let's also change the position of this uh position of this uh end so i'm going to take guide of the rulers for this one so i'm going to put the one ruler over here uh, i'm going to put it put one over here and also one for the this uh, this particular pose as well so for that okay yeah let's parent this with end and also i'm going to parent put one ruler over here just by taking uh, just by seeing the measurement i'm not putting it exact accurate numbers so i'm just uh, seeing it and just putting it like this okay perfect so like this i'm going to put this nearly over here this end this one should also be around here perfect and let's copy it and paste it over here and let's change this position as well perfect now i'm going to pull the start and put it over here okay and uh, select the end and give this bend direction 100 perfect now let's reposition the start and put it over here perfect let's preview it yeah both of them is moving together but it's looking pretty nice so we are going to offset it so for that select the layers and press u to open the properties with keyframes and i'm going to offset it by 20 frames to put it exactly at the middle of this particular timeline yep it's looking pretty nice so we are going to go with this one but uh, before that let's turn on the visibility of the foot 3 leg 3 foot 4 leg 4 perfect let's check our animation now perfect it's looking pretty nice so the rest of the legs will be the similar process duplicate it and reposition the handles end and start handles so the process will be similar but before that i would like to animate the body as well so for that open the position property and also uh, turn off these layers and open this one perfect and i'm going to jump on to next 10 frame and put position at this point as well so when the dog is walking its body should move up and down as well into and from motion uh, similar to a human walk cycle what actually happens so at this particular point is a passing pose so here it will be at its maximum height so select 
the layers and pull it above perfect now and at this point let's pull it down a bit perfect now at this point we are going to copy the initial positions and let's easy is it and copy the loop expression and put it over all these three properties perfect let's check our animation yep it's looking pretty nice right now let's turn off the visibility of the tail okay and let's add some rotation to the shoulder body and head as well so open the rotation property and put a keyframe over here and another keyframe over here perfect at this point the shoulder will be rotating at this particular direction so give it minus 8 perfect at this point plus 8 and at this point again minus 8 okay let's easy is the keyframes and let's preview the animation Well, we are going to do the same with the body, with this body as well, this back portion. So at this particular point, it will rotate in the opposite direction. So uh, opposite direction, I mean, it will basically oppose the shoulder because in walk cycle, the front and the back portion, the shoulder and the hip portion opposes each other. So for that reason, so let's check our animation okay let's add the loop expression and we are going to offset this keyframes so open the properties select all of this and let's offset it by three frames and accordingly i'm going to offset uh, body from the show body from shoulder and shoulder from head and also let's add some rotation to the head as well before that let's preview our animation okay so we have we didn't put the loop expression in the rotation yep it's looking pretty nice so right now let's add some animation to the tail as well so for that i'm going to add another hose first of all solo the layer and uh, add a hose okay so for this one i'm going to select the hose and go to manage properties and give it auto flip control so what it will do is uh, let's open uh, select the rotation and i'm going to put it like this so what it will basically do is uh, when i select this end and move it it will basically auto flip like this but right now it is auto flipping in the opposite direction we can fix it very easily by going to bend direction and give it negative 100 perfect okay so let's animate the tail as well so we are going to only animate the end and let's parent the start with the body as well so first of all i'm going to put a position on the end and i'm going to match the timing with the body so at this particular point uh it's uh rotating in this uh in this particular direction so here it will also be in this point and at this point it's again rotating so it will be in this particular direction and at this point it will come back to its initial position perfect so let's easy is the keyframes so also i am going to add some curvature to the motion path as well perfect now let's add the loop expression after that i'm going to offset this by around 
let's uh, give it and uh, I'm going to just move it nearly in the middle of this particular rotation so let's check our animation yep it's looking pretty nice and uh, also in the similar manner you can animate the legs of the other side as well you uh, just don't uh, need to animate it again you just uh, can just simply duplicate it go here in manage and duplicate the hose and again uh, reposition the end and you will get the uh, other two foots so like this you can animate a dog walk cycle in front view and even you can add more detailing to the animation by adding some motion to the eyes and ears as well okay so that is it for this lesson hope you liked it if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye